Why does the medical field recommend psychological intervention as the most effective tinnitus treatment? It's clear that releasing from fear and taking control of anxiety can make a big change for improving your life with tinnitus. Hi, my name is Ben Thompson, doctor of audiology and founder of puretinnitus.com. I'm here today to use my whiteboard to explain the relationship between tinnitus, anxiety, and fear. Let's start by talking about tinnitus. Most people's tinnitus is not an issue, but for someone who has tinnitus that leads to anxiety, it can become a real problem. So first, we must remember that anxiety is not only of the mind. Anxiety is a mind and body relationship. So if I have anxious thoughts about tinnitus, then it's going to start in the mind, but it's also going to affect my body, particularly the shoulders and the jaw are going to be in an anxious state. They're going to be high and tight and seemingly flexed because the mindset here is the tinnitus is a threat. I don't know how I'm gonna get through this. I don't know how I'm gonna to go to sleep at night and I don't know what my future looks like. So in the body, we're in a very tense place. To balance that would be a more relaxed, calm state of body, but anxiety can be affecting shoulders and jaw. Additionally, the fight or flight response is very commonly associated with the anxiety from tinnitus. What this means is the sound of ringing in the ears or ringing in the brain that creates this fight or flight response. We're on edge, we're on alert. Our body and our mind is not sure if this is a threat, if we have to defend ourselves, or if we have to run but really it's, it's a noise that is not going to physically harm us. It's definitely not going to kill us. And it's just there that's gonna be there, not forever, but for a period of time when we're thinking about it. Anxiety is tied to worrying about the future. So when we talk about future mind and worrying, that is what anxiety feeds on. There's a lot of questions about tinnitus. Is my life going to be like this forever? Am I gonna hear this noise at this loudness forever? Can I go back to normal? Is my life over because I have this loud ringing in the ears? Those are all valid questions, but recognize that those are questions that anxiety has created within your mind, and it's very focused on the future. What if thinking about what's coming next? A lot of anxiety is tied to fear. When I think about the future in my personal life, I notice a lot of the thoughts I have are scared of what could happen. I'm not confident in the outcome. I don't know, there's a lot of confusion, there's a lot of uncertainty. I don't know if I'm going to be safe. I don't know if the tinnitus is going to get better. That's future thinking, and a lot of that is based in fear. Fear is meant to protect us. From a psychological perspective, if I'm afraid of going into a dark alleyway, it's because I don't want to die. The body, the psychology, the mind, it's designed to protect us, it's designed to help us live. But oftentimes it does not serve us because it keeps us in fear and it keeps us from living our best life, even if that means going through some uncomfortable change in the process. Fear is a strong emotion, it's one of the strongest emotions there is. The emotional brain, the center of that is called the amygdala. Fear lives in the amygdala, lives in the, uh, the limbic system, part of the psychological emotional brain. Very commonly for someone with tinnitus, we have thoughts of the worst case scenario, catastrophic thinking. This is called in cognitive behavioral therapy. Catastrophic thinking means, let's say I've had tinnitus for one month, Catastrophic thinking is, this is gonna be my life forever. I'm never going to be able to work again. I'm never going to be able to socialize and it's going to get worse and worse and I don't know how I'm gonna live. Is that, is that real? Is that accurate? We must ask ourselves. We're not trying to silence these thoughts, this catastrophic thinking, but instead have some awareness, have some recognition that this is not really you speaking or thinking. This is the fear in your psychology and it's getting signals from the tinnitus and getting signals from the anxiety in our mind and in our body that we should be in fear and we might have to seriously uh, analyze what's going on here. Another aspect of fear is all or nothing thinking. 
the most common way that all or nothing thinking presents in my experience working with patients is that the only way to get better is if tinnitus is gone. That the only way to feel good again is if tinnitus is essentially silenced or zero. That's obviously not the best way to think about it. Let's just stop. Most people don't even hear silence. When I'm in a quiet room, I hear tinnitus. When I ask my friends, do you hear ringing in the ears in a quiet room? Nine out of 10 of them would say, yeah, I hear some ringing. So there is, it's very rare to have complete silence for the human experience in modern life. So definitely a fair goal is to have gains towards silence. Let's say reducing the volume or the intensity of tinnitus by 20%, 30%, 50%, 70%, that can happen. But to go from loud tinnitus to absolute silence, it, it's all or nothing thinking. So take that out of your mind. Don't have that mindset because it's worth putting energy in to get 50% there as opposed to silence or nothing. Anxiety and fear are some of the most common reasons why tinnitus becomes an issue in someone's life. And these are the catalysts. These are the drivers for why tinnitus can go down a dark downward spiral over a period of weeks or months, or it can create a, it can create a very dark psychological mindset or outlook for the future. Now, the reason I bring this up is because you may not know how much anxiety or fear is impacting your everyday life, your decisions, even the thoughts that you're having, which might not be who you truly are. Those thoughts might just be coming from a place of anxiety or fear. I wanna talk about a case study here. This is a gentleman who I met who described that their big breakthrough with getting over tinnitus, letting go of tinnitus, was releasing from fear. They had to train themselves, first in the mind and then by relaxing the body, that the tinnitus is not a threat, that the ringing in their ears will not kill them, it will not harm them, it is annoying, yes, it doesn't have a place in every moment, yes, sometimes we wish it was gone, but it's not actually a threat. It's not going to hurt me. It's not risking my life. So let me show you here in terms of the tinnitus, a hard concept to get over is that we can't let it go. It's hard to let go of trying to fix the tinnitus. It's hard to let go of trying to find the specific cause. If the ringing in the ear came up out of nowhere seemingly, then we must know what was the cause. I've seen this play out in many people. They spend so much time trying to find the cause. They try different diets, they try nutrition, they go to many different doctors, they try surgeries, they try uh, neuro techniques of the brain, but they didn't find the cause because the tinnitus is still there. And maybe it's changed over time, but it's still there. So that transitions then into this place of, well, if I can't find the cause, let me focus my energy let me let go of trying to find the cause and let me focus my energy on what can be done. And that is a great place to work with a tinnitus coach like myself. Sometimes we have to reach a point where we, as much as we can, just let go of trying to fix it or trying to find the exact cause. That can be a big breakthrough. So is tinnitus a threat? It's not really a threat. It's not actually a threat. The biggest threat is the anxiety and the fear that can come after the tinnitus. So if someone is stuck in anxiety and fear related to their tinnitus, then it's common for the tinnitus to stay loud or get worse. And that's hard. That's hard when the tinnitus is loud. It's hard when the tinnitus stays loud for a long period of time. I've, I work with people who sometimes are in a very dark state of depression and a bleak outlook of their future. My job, is to use the medical protocols and say, look, you've been through some hard periods of life related to your tinnitus, and you might be stuck in these cycles of anxiety, stress, fear, all or nothing thinking, trying to find the cause, trying to find the cure. So what do we do now? My approach focuses on three pillars. We have the psychology of what's going on, 
working on the fundamentals of stress, anxiety, fear related to tinnitus. The second pillar is the audiology, having a plan for comprehensive sound therapy around you in the room, for example, or with devices, whether that's a Bluetooth device, ear level sound generators, hearing aids. I help someone with the whole process. The third pillar would be the relaxation, the mind-body relaxation and the autonomic nervous system, which is in our physical body, realizing that that sends signals to our brain and to the emotional centers of tense, anxiety, stress. So those are the three pillars. We have the psychology, we have the audiology, and we have this body nervous system connection. The best way to move forward once we let go of trying to find the specific cause or the cure for tinnitus is focusing on these pillars. The good thing is that for those who spend energy and time dedicating their hours, their days, their weeks to those three pillars, over time, not only does it improve the relationship with tinnitus, it improves the root cause of anxiety, stress. Some people it's the root cause of anxiety, stress, and helps with our sleep, helps with our overall energy levels. So I believe that is one of the best ways to take this challenge of tinnitus and turn it into an opportunity to learn more about your stress, about your psychology, and figure out how you can get to a healthier place. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel if you are not already. Leave a comment personally. I would love to review it and answer it. I want to know, have you ever had catastrophic thinking? Have you ever had all or nothing thinking related to tinnitus? Leave a comment below if you have. Have you felt tense in your shoulders, your jaw, your neck from tinnitus? And have you practiced any kind of relationship between the mind and the body like relaxation? Let us know in the comments below. Others can learn from your experience. You can learn from others' experience. And while you're here, make sure to check out this next video. It builds off of what we just talked about. The next video is called The Vicious Circle of Negative Thinking and Tinnitus. I'll see you there. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.